Let me show you how you can easily add webhooks to a FileMaker database. Here I have a database uh, as a task manager that I created with uh, the starter solution from FileMaker. I have just slightly modified it so that when I uh, assign some, uh, a task to someone, it also sends an email notification so that the person knows uh, that they have to work on the task. Right now I have a link here that takes me straight to the database to complete the task. But what if I want this to work without the database? To make it as easy as possible and require as little PHP knowledge as possible, I will use FM Raster. So here from GitHub I will download FM Raster for PHP. And I will copy it to my folder I have prepared for this example. Expand the archive. And I will leave just the FM raster itself there. I can delete the rest, I don't need it. So now I will re rename the folder to webhooks. And this will be my folder that I will upload to the server. Now I will use bbedit, which is my favorite uh, plain text editor, to create a new text file and, and I will save the file as complete task.php. Now let me return back to the FM raster and I will grab, my, grab a few pieces of code from the documentation just as they are. So this part will connect to the FileMaker database. Now let me grab a piece of code to edit a record. And one more piece will be easiest to copy from one of the examples on the, in the repository. And that will be to check whether my record editing was successful or not. So I'll grab just this small piece of code where uh, the result of the record editing is being examined and I'll paste it to my text file. So this is just the same piece of code so I'll just add the result to variable and modify this part so that I get a meaningful message when I successfully modify the task and another meaningful message in the case something goes wrong. In real life I will probably also differentiate between different kinds of failures but for this example let me just simply display a message that the update has failed. Now in order to be able to edit the right record I need to provide uh, some kind of identification of the task to edit. So I will be passing that as a parameter to my script and the parameter will be simply ID. Now in order to uh, prepare my database for this I will create a new layout just for this webhook. I don't want to let the web access anything that it doesn't have to access. So I'll just add the status field there and now let me add the layout name to the code and the parameters that I want to edit will be just one field called status and I will set it to complete it. I need to uh, create a privilege set and give my web webhook some privileges to actually access the database from the web. So I will only let it access the records in the table with the tasks and I will limit the access rights to fields to bare minimum. I also need to let it access the layout that I created and as you can see I'm leaving all the other access rights to none. Now I enable the FileMaker Data API 
and create a new web account with a password and assign it the privilege that I just created. So let me add the username and password I just created. Uh, I don't need any additional options, so I can just delete these parameters. My database is called tasks. And I also need to put in the server host name. Okay, that should be it. So I will save the script. And now I have to put it on my server to make it work. You can put a PHP script that connects through data API to any web server. But if you already have a FileMaker server, the easiest thing to do is to put it on the same server. So I'll just put the webhooks folder there. And now let me try it in Safari. Now my link will be the server address slash webhooks slash complete task.php. As you can see, I got a failure message and that's simply because I didn't identify the record to edit. So let me now check what the ID of the record is. And I see the ID is number one. So when I modify the URL by adding the ID parameter, hit enter. And now I see task completed and in the database, the task status has changed to completed. So the only remaining step is to modify my script so that when I send the email out, it directs me straight to this webhook instead of the database. So here I will modify the link to use HTTPS instead of FMP. And in the file path, I will replace the file name with the webhook. And as an ID, I will use the get record ID. Now let me just slightly modify the email body so that the link says simply mark the task as complete. And let's try it. Save the script. And I revert the task back to pending. And assign myself again. As you can see, I just received a new email. So I open it. And here is the link to set the task as completed. So I just click the link. And it opens the web browser. And as you can see, the task is marked as complete again. Wasn't that easy?